Welcome to the fifth episode of our series, PIMCO on Steroids, how Data Director enhances user experience of the PIMCO backend. This time it is about the quick search. The quick search is a useful feature, but the implementation uh, in PIMCO default is more or less a full text search. Imagine you have exactly a, a product name and you want to search for it. You use the quick search and it will give you all you know, a full load of results. It will give you assets. In this case, this was my import files. It will give you product. It will give you brand objects and so on and so on. Um, to find the correct object which you're actually searched for is a bit difficult, especially because this is a full text search. This means um, it will also it will also show results which do not have all the words inside. Look at this here. At first, at the first view, uh, somewhere in the description, maybe there is this uh, uh, one of those words, and so it gets shown here. But in my opinion, this is not what a quick search should do. A quick search should result in exactly what you are looking for. This gets even worse if you have an exact SKU and you want to search for it. Let's look here. You get a whole load um, of objects found, but actually this product, uh, this SKU does only belong to one. In this case, the good thing is that the first found object is really the one which, are, which, which we are looking for. But in the real world, as I've shown before, it will most often list the assets first because in those the, um, the search term is more often inside because the import files, for example, contain um, those things more often. And the reason for this is that in the MySQL full text search, those things here are interpreted as separate words. So when you have um, SKUs, which have such separators inside, then you will always face this problem. But as shown before, same is with, with uh, searching for texts. It will also give you non-optimal results. In Data Director, there's a feature to enhance this quick search. When we now search for this name, we will get, get exactly those elements which have this string inside. And I mean every word. Um, this is the product and this is the import file where this product name is inside. But all the other uh, objects where only one word or um, um, uh, is inside and maybe all, somewhere in the product description or even in the relations, um, those do not get listed here. And the same is for the SKU. When we search for an SKU, we fi find exactly one product and this makes it easier for the, for the users to find what they are looking for. Now, the, the, this feature also distinguishes the quick search from the other full text searches. Now we have here document asset data object full text search. Uh, they still work as before. So they find very much objects, but the quick search then can be used to really find, uh, have a, a fast way to find what you're really looking for and where the element, the found element contains all your search terms. This is the difference because in, in uh, default PIMCO implementation, the quick search is actually the same as those three element searches together. It is all a full text search. And in my opinion, this does not make sense or it makes the quick search um, more or less unusable um, in real life. But of course, the quick search is still a full text search. So when we search, uh, so the search term does not have to be to exist in the object exactly, but of course we can also um, uh, remove some words and it will still find what we are looking for. 
The only difference is that every word which you search for has to be contained in the found elements. So I hope that this makes sense to you to have a quick search which really searches for all the terms which you have entered and that it will make your daily uh, workflows faster and more efficient. Thanks for watching this episode of the series and I hope to welcome you on the next episode. Bye bye.